Hey guys, welcome back to Bits of an Artist's Life. I do not want to spend much time at all on an intro. I just want to jump into the video and let you see some of the process of a really fun painting that I love how it turned out. Basically, I paint a whole painting with my finger and also part of getting the studio ready to be painted. And then I'm hoping that next week I'm gonna have the studio tour ready. I had to take a week off, I was exhausted. After doing the video collab and the studio, my body just went. But I did want to tell you that Mel Chadwick, the artist that I've been doing the artist collab with, she did a fourth video and she shares the whole process of one of the drawings that she did. So make sure to go jump over there. I'll put a link below to the video, but make sure to go check out her fourth video for the collab. She just went crazy with it. I've got a ginormous, or ginormous for me, sketchbook. Well, poopsers, I was hoping this was gonna show up. I'm standing on my stool again, videoing for you guys. And I did a really quick sketch last night. Sorry about the squeaking stool that I'm standing on. Again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I hope you can. So I was standing here and I was looking at these two sketches. Actually, I should have thrown that guy in. I'm gonna throw that guy in somewhere. And I was mainly inspired by this one. You guys have seen that before in another video. I'm not very good with backgrounds. They were well me. So I thought maybe I'll just fill the page with stuff. And then I wanted to do a still life, like a more serious still life in the middle. So I used this as my inspiration and I'm gonna use my flash paints. Here's what I'm doing differently though. I decided I'm gonna use my fingers to paint this or I'm gonna start off trying that. So I'm just dipping my finger in the paint and slopping it on, which is a lot of fun. Of course, I'm gonna get some nice, loose marks. And I'm hoping I can cover the page faster because what will happen is if I don't get this done fast, I'll get bored and I won't finish it. So I've really gotta pop it in. I kind of feel like maybe that paint getting on my hands is not the healthiest thing. I mean, it rinsed off really quick, but yeah, so I have these gloves that I really don't like because they rip real easy. So I think I'm going to cut the fingers off and then that way maybe this will work. I can just do it like this. It will make it a little harder because I won't have the, yeah, I think it's going to make it harder. And then if I need to put like a piece of tape to make it tighter, I'm going to do that. Maybe I can do like color palette. I can just pull this one off if it's got blue on it and pick up the yellow. I'll let you know how this is going to go. This, this, this could get be really silly and not work, but you know, as an artist, we come up with all kinds of things. You just never know what's gonna work. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> y'all probably think I've lost my mind, or maybe y'all already knew that. Hey guys, this finger thing that I cut off, let me come over here, those gloves, that I cut off for the fingertips. That worked so good. I mean, the paint goes on well with that. And then what I do, I kind of treat it like my brush and just swish it around in the water and wipe it off on a paper towel. And it's really nice at the end of the day, I don't have any brushes to clean up.
And so, you know, it's a bit like walking on a tightrope because you make a mistake, that's going to show up to the actual object itself. Uh, that's why I want to talk about it. And I'm, I'm, you know, in the hope that people will, will sort of catch some glimpse of, of the process that made it happen. Well, I highly recommend everyone listening, if they can, our Mark Brown Contemporary. And congratulations on the show, and thanks so much for your time today, Tim. Walking with all this baggage, and then you use, I guess my own work, and I'm not thinking about making a great painting. I'm thinking of the painting. So you mean frustration as to making it work? Yes and no. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing now. So I kind of had in mind to have this white space right here as the table. And then like there's a table leg coming here and a little peep of it here. And the rug is under the table, but it's also kind of coming up on top of the table. And then I wanted to keep this, I liked the composition of this big white space, but I wanted to put objects on the table. So what I'm doing right now is sketching those in my what is this my polychromos color pencil and i'm liking the line drawing i may go back over it and just keep this line drawing what i'm using as a reference well i did set up up some things right there i've got some still life stuff but then i remembered this and i pulled this out things that i sketched from something else oh i think i have another reference page what is that oh yeah i need to come back to this too Ooh, this may inform some colors okay hmm. Oh yeah, the eggs on the plate. Yeah, I'm gonna incorporate some things here. So I'm gonna use these two things as reference. Just sitting here sketching. And I don't know if I'll end up painting these things. I feel like it will make it busy. This is not my typical kind of painting. I'm loving how it's turning out. I'm gonna go back. Right now I've just painted all of this with my fingers. Literally finger painting. And then what I'm gonna do is go back and add more detail and texture with a big brush, probably this brush right here. Yeah, like for the lion who's under the table. What I did too was put a really thin coat of the white with my flash paint and left some of the underneath stuff, which created some texture in that white space. Your brain reads it white, but it's not just a big white block. Man, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So we'll see how I like. I'm gonna sketch this out. I'll either sleep on it or jump right into it. I kind of now wish I had used like a pink color pencil or a different color pencil. You know what, if I don't like this, what I may do is do another thin layer. Koopy, are you checking out my still life stuff? I am mom. We'll just see, I'm just playing. I'm just having fun. If I mess it up, I can paint it back in. That's my thought process. But I'm... Oh goodness, goodness. That was exaggerative. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to it guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm up on the stool. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not taking the time that I probably should to set up the camera, but I wanted to show you. I'm taking... This color pencil right here, which is a blue polychromos, uh, what's it, Prussian blue. Using this as my reference, and I'm just sketching things all over. I'm letting things overlap. Then what I, because I really want this to read as a white, but I want the things. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try this. Maybe I should leave it like it is, but I'm not going to erase this. My thoughts are that there'll be a little bit of the outline and then I'm going to go over it with another color, not trying to go like perfectly. And then I think I'm going to erase that and do another color. And I'm going to just see what happens. Well, I don't know. This could end up being a hot mess.
Wow, I'm having to like really press hard to get this to erase. Oh, I feel like I'm using up my good eraser. Yeesh. Okay, I switched erasers, getting one that I don't really like as much because it doesn't work as well. And true to form, it's not working great, but we'll see. Wow, this is not coming up well. But I think it's going to accomplish what I'm wanting. It just to be less strong. Just kind of like there. Barely there. I mean, it's a, more than barely. But we'll see. I think I'm gonna probably use up a whole eraser. I don't know why this is. Oh, it's like eraser workout. All right, better get back to it. Like working up a sweat. But I do, I think, yeah, I'm liking how this is looking, guys. I'm liking, yep, 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 yep. yep. Let me show you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go over it with. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my plan and go over it with another color. But this, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. I'm coming up with ideas and trying stuff. Can you even see? Sometimes I can't tell if it shows up. But there's just a ghost, just a hint of it. And now I'm gonna go back over it with either a pink or a yellow, and then maybe erase that too. We'll see. Okay guys, let's see if you can see this. I think you're gonna be able to. So I've outlined it super, super, super quickly with pink and you can still see the blue. So I do like the way this is looking. I think I'm gonna erase it again. We'll see how well the pink erases and then I think I'm gonna go over it with a yellow and just see how that works. We won't know till we try, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I want you guys to know that I'm feeling really bad that I'm not setting up the camera and letting you guys see more of the process. I just, I've had kind of a rough day today. I just really need to get in the zone. You know what I mean? Like kind of the things that were upsetting to me today and just kind of get lost in it. And it's hard to do that when the camera's on and I'm using this entire space. Well, the painting's in my lap right now, but it was it will be right there and so usually if I'm gonna do the overhead all this space is taken up with my overhead camera stuff and that's because I don't have like official camera stuff I can't even imagine how hot mess I look right now all right I just have a little bit of time left Grady is out of town tonight and I'm just going to exhaust myself with art stuff I have tried to eat three square meals at appropriate times though, so I can have energy. Feel like we don't care. <laughs> Aren't y'all? You're like, just show us the painting, Sandy. We don't care about if you're taking care of yourself or not. I mean, I know y'all do. I know you do. Okay, there's my last layer, and I did it kind of in this mustardy yellow. I'm gonna now erase it. I think I'm kind of liking it. Now I'm gonna erase it, because I can always go back. I wanna stick with the creative process that I've decided on. Okay guys, I'm crazy happy with this. I went over it again in some areas, not all areas, but the objects that I really liked, I went over it again with a pink and then erased that again. And I love the way this has turned out. So I've still got this white table, the shape that I like, but in it very faintly are all these objects that I love. Ooh, I'm very, 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 very happy. I'm wondering if you're going to be able to see the three colors. Maybe there. Okay, I'm going to get back to painting on this. I want to work on some of the detail stuff. And I'll let you guys see this when I'm done.
Okay guys, I feel like I'm done with this. I'll tell you that, this kind of painting is not easy to do. It's kind of in that abstract thing and you really have to like know what you're doing, which I don't, but there's always this, like a good painting that's done in this kind of style. There's a lot of like leading the eye through and composition and value things. And I'm gonna show you the value thing in a minute. Yeah, there was a ton of reworking, like painting, taking, putting things in, taking things out, but I'm happy with it. And the, the paper feels amazing. It's, this is vinyl paint, it's the flash paint that I use. And so it literally feels like wallpaper. When I take it off the block, if you don't know what I mean by block, I have a video on how to make your own watercolor block. But this is a large block of paper, which makes a huge difference when you're trying to paint on it like this. But I think when I take it off, I'm going to put tape around the edges, like painter's tape here, flip it over and put a couple coats of gesso. And then it makes it literally feel like wallpaper. It has the most amazing quality to it. What I used, uh, let's see, I used my flash paint. I used a little bit of color pencil. You can see really most of that color pencil though I, I erased. So really what's there is the leftover. And uh, let's see, yeah, so a little bit of color pencil, flash paint, and a little bit of my acrylic inks. It was really fun to work on. It was pretty easy for me to tell which areas I didn't like what things weren't working. I wanted almost everything in here to be put on here and then part of it taken away. I don't know if that makes sense, but like not a full object. So like not a full plate, not a full her person, not a full sun back there, not a full table, kind of everything going in and out. And a little wonky, you know, fun little elements like the lion. I don't know if this is a lion or tiger. It's kind of like a lion and a leopard. What are those spotted ones? I need to go do a animal book and figure out the names of my animals. Most of the things in the color palette came from this. And then over here, the, pl the plant, the flower in the pot, that's... So little things I did like this. So this right here, this banana that's not really attached to anything, but it's kind of peeping up. I loved in the still life, the banana is just kind of popping up right there, peeping out. I really liked that element of it. Wanted this right here to be, especially this area, to be the focal point. Let me show you a close-up of some of the detail and writing that stayed behind. And not that this worked, but what I was thinking was I really wanted the white to kind of lead your eye through. Come back down. This is the other leg of the table kind of. I mean, it's not like it's attached, but that's what it's supposed to be. And then bring you back around. Now, whether I accomplished that, I don't know. So I have this little set of things right here. And I got these from Peggy Crow Roberts. She sells these on her website. There's a mirror. There's a compositional thing and then a value finder. I use this thing like crazy. I'm gonna tell you something else. I lost this. I never lose things. I lost this a couple weeks ago. I was actually filming and I had you guys in that closet and I had set this in here for, in there for some reason and it got lost for a couple weeks and I panicked. I mean not that I can't just order another one but mm -hmm. okay so this value finder is invaluable to me. I use the mirror and this like crazy. Let's see if this will work. So this is what this does. Oh, maybe it's gonna work. Oh, guys, so it's super filthy with paint. Um, I only clean it when I can't see out of it anymore. Hmm, I'm gonna go clean this off for you guys and then we'll give it another go. I'm back and it's semi-clean. Let's see if it works. It's a little cleaner. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm, I still don't know if it's gonna be as helpful as like real life. That gives you an idea. Super, super, super valuable tool because the saying is, I learned this from Peggy. I don't think she was the original one to say it. The saying is, uh, what is this thing? <laughs> oh, okay, I just remembered. Color gets all the credit, value does all the work. And that is so true. So this is a huge helpful, 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 helpful thing. You can go over to Peggy's, this is not sponsored by the way, but you can go over to her website and get you one of these little handy dandies. Guys, look what has started. Yep, we've started clearing out the space today. I just like started and started taking things down from the walls and just from everywhere. We literally moved out all of our furniture from right here so we could put stuff there and have it close by. It's felt a little overwhelming, I won't, I won't lie. It feels a little sad too, the way like moving day feels. Like my studio will never go back the same way. 
which it, I mean, it'll be fine. I love like a layered look, how just like over light, over time, things just start layering up. And it's been really good to like clean things off, clear out clutter. Like I'm gonna try to not have this shelf here. I'm gonna have a shorter one. And yeah, just, you know, getting rid of things that I haven't used in forever and just cleaning behind things will be really nice. One of the things that I'm doing, this used to be just a bookshelf. Uh, I mean, it is a bookshelf. I've cleared it all out. I just have my art books down there and I basically made this a little bit of an overflow of the studio so I can have some of my still life stuff neatly that this is the only time this will look like this ever. It will never, ever, ever, ever look this nice and neat again, but I kind of like having this here. I think it looks pretty right now. And I mean, who has like jam in their den on the shelves, but those make good still lifes. Yes, yeah, so that's where we are right now. Just clearing it out. Wow, it feels overwhelming. And I hurt my back like five minutes in. I'm having back spasms, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really, <laughs> I haven't overdone it. So we've got all of this, this, we've got the couch and the den, I mean, in the kitchen. Look, look who's there, Ben. And then I was hoping to keep the dining room table cleared off, but that's our goal. So I can kind of still work in here. And these ledges are just gonna get filled with paintings. And then we've got this whole area of studio stuff. Hmm. It's gonna feel overwhelming when I start putting all this stuff back, but I'm trying to not feel overwhelmed. I'm gonna go do some stretches now for my back and try to get it to stop spasming. <laughs> all right, guys, look what's happening. I mean, it is cleared out. I mean, whoa, it's feeling slightly overwhelming. You can see at one point I test painted part of the wall here. Man, I wish you had just kept that on. <laughs> we had a little can this big. So this is the color it's gonna be. Just this real creamy, 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 <laughs> gray is moaning, white, instead of this blue. Oh, and the ceiling's blue too, so Grady has to paint the ceiling. <laughs> more, more moaning. <sighs> I wish y'all could see. Well, maybe I'll just show y'all. Look at <laughs> all the stuff. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all the paintings. Y'all have so many paintings. I just, I guess maybe it's gonna help me like put some of those up on the wall. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. And then our bedroom is loaded up with paintings. <sighs> I am excited. I'm gonna rearrange the room. I've decided, I used to have all my pretty stuff here because this is when you would walk in. Hey, painter. Oh. We love you. Did such a good job. He's all sweaty. <laughs> oh, I'll talk to you later. Guys, we are doing it. We are finally painting the studio. So we're painting it white. <clears throat> and I say white because it's, a, it's like a creamy white. I have literally never had Grady's laughing at me. A white room in any of the houses that we've owned. I mean, our closets and laundry rooms have always been white, but I've never had a white room. I'm just not a white kind of gal. I really like color, but I needed light in here, and then the walls get filled up with paint. I mean, with uh, paintings. But this is kind of, so I'm feeling like it's got a little bit of an orange tint. To it it's called it's a bear paint we got it from home depot and it's called cottage white it's got a little bit of an orange tint and i feel like with our orange doors it feels very much like we're inside a what did i call it brady oh a cream sickle is that what it's called mm -hmm. you know that orangey yeah so that's what it feels like the light man it is already feeling like so bright perks to being an artist and painting a room. You have, oh no, almost turned the gap of paint over. Whoosh. You have painting clothes already, plenty of painting clothes. So who cares if you get paint on it? Oh, I'm getting excited. No, so Cooper's coming in. Coop, no, sir, stay. Man, that would've been a bummer if I'd knocked that over. All right, another perk to having this art studio in your house when you're painting a room is that you already have a sink that you use to paint brushes, to clean brushes. You know, you can just wash up and don't have to worry about ruining a sink. So 
So, hot's of parts. All right, Greta's probably feeling like I need to get back to work and stop yapping. Yep. <laughs> he is sopping away, guys, and it's like Antarctic in here, but he's doing a great job. So I'm gonna get back to it. I'm so excited. Coop's feeling very left out. Sorry, bud. Guys, we are done painting. We got it all done in one day. I cannot even believe it. And it is so bright and light in here. We're keeping the orange doors for now. I couldn't think of another color to paint them. And tomorrow we're gonna be moving back in. I just can't even believe it. It looks amazing. Okay, this is what it feels like. I told Grady, I was like, it's, it's like a blank white page sketchbook ready to be filled. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope I can sleep tonight because thinking about moving back in here just makes me giddy. Ugh! Oh, wow, look at me. I also stuck my head in the paint at some point. We are exhausted. I mean, I can't even imagine how tired Grady is, but we are going to sleep good tonight. I hope we can move tomorrow like our bodies so we can move in here. Studio tour coming soon. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you back here next week with, if weather permits and the sun is out, a proper, proper studio tour looking in every drawer and every nook and cranny. Until then, I will see you guys. Let's see what I usually say. I will see you soon, bye.